Hola amigos y amigas de eltalleraudiovisual.com Hoy venimos con una novedad que descubrimos en Moyocon y que es la nueva aplicación que está desarrollando Filmic Pro. Estuvimos hablando con el jefe de desarrolladores de Filmic y nos estuvo comentando en qué consiste esta nueva aplicación. Filmic Argon, que es como se llama esta nueva aplicación, nos presenta una simplificación de Filmic en su interfaz para poder utilizar los comandos de una manera mucho más sencilla y nos presenta una novedad que nos permitirá emitir en directo a través de diferentes redes sociales y canales RMTP directamente desde la aplicación. De momento está en desarrollo, no sabemos si llegará a ver la luz, pero los chicos de Filmic están haciendo un gran esfuerzo. Y bueno, aquí os dejamos con esta exclusiva para que la veáis aquí, en el tallerodivisual.com. Dentro Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin Bonagurio. I'm with Filmic Incorporated. We make Filmic Pro, of course. Uh, we have obviously a high-end video offering for both iOS and Android. Um, two interesting pieces of news that we're bringing to MojoCon here in Galway, Ireland. Uh, the first one is that we're actually developing our version 6 for Android, and that's going to be full functionality, similar to what we rolled out in March for iOS. So that's going to be great for Android users. But what people are really excited about here at MojoCon is what we're rolling out as a research project at this point, which is a essentially a, a stripped down version of Filmic Pro with a change in some of the usability and features designed for novice shooters or for education if you've got journalists in class that you don't want to put all of the features of Filmic Pro in front of them. We're calling it Project Argon, which is our internal code name. Um, we don't know yet what this product will be or even if we're going to commit to delivery. We're rolling it out to the mobile journalists here in Galway to kind of get their feedback. Um, as you can maybe see, uh, it's a simplified interface. It features a, a single reticle combined but you can actually split it apart. So you can see I have separate exposure, separate focus, just like Filmic Pro. You can lock them. You can tap that to bring them together and lock them independently. We still have the great manual controls, which is the arc sliders, but they're simplified. There's just, just an exposure on the left and just a focus on the right. There's no pulls. There's no ISO and shutter to worry about. Up on the exposure will make it light, and down on the exposure will make it dark. But what's really great is the hybrid model, where you can keep the manual controls open, but tap on the screen, and it will actually focus and expose for that particular spot. But then you can dial it back. Perhaps we figure, you know, Chris's shirt is blown out, so I'm going to pull down the exposure a little bit. So you can get going really fast. It's got a nice big audio meter. It's got an audio gain control right on the main screen, so you can pull this down if your audio levels are too high. Very easy library. It's just a simple camera roll over here on the left. And it records clips right into the camera roll library, just like you would with the native app. No settings menus to get lost in. It's just a basic set of settings menus up the top. Simple white balance lock. And probably the most exciting feature is this is our first foray into live on a Filmic product. We have right here a live streaming menu that you can set up right in the app, Periscope, YouTube, and even custom RTMP. So if you're working with a media outlet that has an RTMP server, you can broadcast live right from the app. Really fantastic. We're streaming a lot with Periscope right from here. So anyways, we're rolling this out to mobile journalists. Um, and actually, if there's journalists out there that are interested in applying to receive this beta and provide some feedback, you can write into us at beta at filmicpro.com and we'd be happy to get you set up. Thank you. ¿Qué ganas tengo de poder utilizar Filmic Argon en mi teléfono móvil? Y entiendo que a vosotros, si os ha gustado, también tendréis ganas. No os perdáis el próximo live streaming del vídeo móvil del taller audiovisual. Vamos a hablar, vamos a hacer un tutorial en vivo de Kick de GoPro, una aplicación de edición de vídeo automática altamente personalizable y que utilizamos un montón, tanto Javier como yo. Suscribíos al blog eltalleraudiovisual.com y a nuestro canal de YouTube, este donde estáis viendo el vídeo. Os esperamos el próximo miércoles a las 4 y media en eltalleraudiovisual.com. No os lo perdáis.